Welcome to the Sacred Sage. Well, I thought I must do something different this time. And I'll tell you the reason why. Since yesterday night, and I know it is the whole realization and the turmoil that I've been going through since yesterday night is because of the Venus shift. Venus is now in Libra. And I think the effect of it is going to stay in our life uh, for about 18 months. The whole transit period of Venus in Libra and uh, during the course of her journey, it's going to be something significant in our twin soul journeys. Now, For each one who has believed that you have a twin soul and whether you are already connected or you're waiting for one, you know that the last few months and years have been quite tormenting. Tormenting because in the 3D world, we don't really understand why is it getting so difficult. Every time you thought something's getting resolved, something else went for a toss. And I think it the whole back and forth and the weight and the craving, it's, it's all been taking a toll. And now that Venus has shifted and Jupiter has already made its shift, life is only going to get better. The path will be clear. And I know it's difficult to believe because we've all gone through so much that to even imagine that it's going to be an easy ride from here on is slightly difficult. Now, when I say easy, I'm not saying that it's going to be something that will transform overnight. All that I'm trying to tell you is that, yes, you were supposed to learn a few lessons. Your twin soul was supposed to learn a few lessons, whether it was about the third party or it was about being in karmic relationships or situation, which could help both of you evolve into the twin soul energy of giving and loving selflessly. I think that had to happen for you to increase your vibration. It's not always about life and the universe being cruel and you getting your lessons right or wrong and then being punished. A lot of people think like that. No, it's not like that. The universe doesn't come to punish you. The universe always says that if you learned your lessons right and if you could reclaim the power and the wisdom of your divine soul energy, then everything that you want can manifest. And don't forget that your twin soul is, is just a mirror reflection of who you are. So if they've been difficult and that's what you think, then there is a part of you that is actually unhealed or has not evolved to the state of being in perfect divine union. And that is the reason why you have to go through these experiences so that you can change your vibration. Now, with all the wisdom of the lessons that you've learned in the past months and years, you're now moving into a period where Venus in Libra and Jupiter in Sagittarius together collectively in conjunction with Saturn, who's the karmic master, will now finally show you the way. Now, it could mean different things for different people. For example, maybe you thought somebody is your twin soul and it is quite possible that the revolutions uh, come across in a way where you realize that maybe he or she wasn't the twin soul. Maybe you meet someone new, only if you're ready for it. I'm not saying that you should leave the relationship that you're in. I'm just saying this is a general reading. So stay there, watch, observe, learn, evolve, apply all of the wisdom that you have, use it to your advantage as you walk forward in the twin soul journey. So yeah, it is also possible that you were with somebody or you're still with someone and the relationship has been this bumpy ride. Maybe you have been struggling to make it perfect. Maybe you were the only one making all the effort to somehow ensure that something about it comes back on track where you've been waiting for them to realize that, oh my God, he or she is my soulmate. What have I been doing? 
maybe you've just been craving for them to come to you and and be in this divine union and it's not been happening it is possible that you're quite exhausted and tired it is also possible that you're feeling extremely hopeless about it and you don't know what to do with it all i'm trying to tell you is that life is about to change and you got to prepare yourself for the change and that is why we are doing these special readings at the sacred sage for each one of you to understand your own twin soul journey it will help you understand yourself better and it will also help you understand your twin soul it's possible that they are not so evolved as you are the reason why they are not watching this reading and you are watching this reading is because you are more evolved you understand the whole energy dynamics and you've been learning your lessons you've been patient you've been kind and giving and nurturing and you have accepted the fact that they also have to go through what they have to go through to be able to be in perfect union with you and since you are the loving one it's only fair for you to give it due share of time and wait for them to get to the level where they can be up to the mark not up to the mark in the 3d way up to the mark spiritually where their vibration matches with your vibration of spiritual evolution and they can be ready for the perfect union i know you have been waiting for this for a long long time but i must promise you that the energies are shifting whatever is love and whatever is twin soul for you whoever is the twin soul for you i do know that it will come to you it's just a matter of time and all the lessons that you learned to be so loving and kind to be so selfless to believe in the universe and its magic all of that love and magic is going to come to you so keep the faith and let's get started with your reading dear pisces your twin flame soul journey message is that of intimacy your vulnerability is the key to your growing spirituality now is the time to share yourself openly without pretense or defensiveness let go of the barriers that have held you apart from one another from the divine from the world and then let yourself be held by the experiences of your life without needing to defend against them just be you don't have to defend anything you don't have to pretend to be anything expect nothing and be open to receive everything your vulnerability is your way forward now you're learning that you have enough strength to truly surrender you're brave enough to allow yourself to be truly lived by the divine the message of this oracle is that you have recently opened yourself up in new ways to meet the world and your loved ones or are considering doing so in order to share something of yourself with another do it you are ready to be seen and received more than ever before dear pisces you are now becoming yes you are manifesting your divine purpose yet what is happening now is just one of the many inspired brush strokes on the canvas of your life's work you are the artist who paints trust instinctive and spontaneous with faith in the process unfolding you are not the painter using numbered squares who has finished vision even before commencing the task with a map of all steps of journey you're capable of being moved by the spirit you are a brave adventurer so celebrate what you're creating now and realize that it is a step in your major work of divine art this life of yours not to be planned 
but to be experienced. Stroke after stroke, step after step, you shall witness the picture of coming to life. It may not be what you expected, but it will be the most beautiful, extraordinary creation. This oracle message brings you comfort that you are blossoming and each petal unfolding is another step closer to your ultimate divine fulfillment. There is a message here too that a relationship or maybe a project that you're keen to move forward will bloom in its own unique way. Give it the breathing room and be willing to let it become what it seeks to be. Even without a clear direction or plan, sometimes, even because of that, there is an inner plan that can come to fruition. It would be sad to think there's nothing more. That's so beautiful, isn't it? Pisces? God speaks. The divine is speaking to you directly. Underneath the silence, there is endless music of love. You've got to experience that. 